my name is Emily and welcome to Sweet Cake Patterns where I can share modern folk for crochet patterns. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make this super fun crochet unicorn. As you can see it has different colors on its hoof and um, I love its little tail and it has a really fun mane. Um, so let's get started making this. Now I do want to mention that you can get the ad free PDF for the extra small size and the small size and the medium size. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description box below for that. And then you can also um, view the um, blog post for making the extra small um, unicorn. And so let's get started making the extra small in this video. crochet hook and you'll be using this most of the time and then you'll need a 6 millimeter crochet hook you'll need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook I love clover more as you can see um, then you'll need scissors a darning needle um, you'll need two stitch markers and then you'll need 14 millimeter safety eyes and I just buy the basic normal cheap um, or cheaper um, Amazon safety eyes and then what I like to do is I like to hot glue the backs of my safety eyes so these are 14 millimeter safety eyes so that's what I'll be using today and then you'll also need a little bit of stuffing for the head not obvious you'll need more than this obviously but I just had this on hand so you need that and then for the yarns that you'll need you'll need two balls of or one and one and a little bit more balls of we crochet Fable Fur in the color Esbar. I believe that's how you say it. Um, and so that that's the main color that we'll be using today. And then you'll for the um, for the hoofs, you'll need a different color of yarn. And I'm today using um, Fable Fur in the color Paloma, um, which is this really pretty pink with a little bit of white at the tips. I don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully you can. Okay, so those are the main three yarns I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to use um, this yarn. This is Red Heart um, yarn in the color Corn Starch, I believe. Um, and this is just for the horn. And then you're going to need um, Lion Brand. Sorry that my label is such a mess. You'll need um, Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick in the color... Um, carousel is what I use and this is for the main and then you'll also need um, some of this this is just um, red heart super saver just like this is it's a number four worsted weight yarn and then this is in the color soft white and this is in the color cornstarch as I mentioned before so you'll just need this for the um, muzzle of the um, head so let's get started okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your six millimeter -er crochet hook um, and then you're going to grab your soft white yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver in the color soft white. Or any number four worsted weight would really do the job. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab both strands of the yarn. And to begin, what you're going to do is you're going to make a, um, a magic circle. So you're going to put the yarn at the base of your fingers. And then you're going to wrap it around like this. So wrap it up and around and then make a cross. So now bring this new strand of yarn. It does not want to unravel very well. Okay, bring this up into the back, like so. And then you're gonna flip it to the top and you're gonna go under and over. And then you're going to just pinch it with your other finger. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain one and to begin what you're gonna do is you're going to half double crochet eight into the magic circle. So to make a half double crochet, you're just going to yarn over and insert into the magic circle. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And you're just going to do that a total of eight times. So two, three, four, and I'm just going to try to get my ball to keep going. Five, six, oops. Six, seven, 
and an eight. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to cinch your, grab your two strand tails of yarn and you're just going to cinch them shut. This guy got a little twisted, there we go. You're just going to pull on them and it should um, close your ring. That's why it's called a magic circle. For some reason I did not do good today. I got them all tangled up. Okay, there we go. There you go. Just pull to cinch all the way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to um, slip stitch to join. And then you're not going to... Okay, so now for round number two, you're not going to chain one because you're going to start working in the round. And so that's just my preferred way to start working in the round. So now what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet in each stitch around. And you should have 16 stitches. And I'll meet you back once you have finished row number two or round number two. Okie dokie. So I just finished um, row number two. And as you can see, this is what it is looking like. If I turn it like this, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so now for row number three, what you're going to do is you're going to just half double crochet into the first stitch. Now, I personally sometimes like to use a stitch marker, but if you, um, you don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. Okay, so you're just going to half double crochet for rows, or for rounds, excuse me, three and four in each stitch around. So just half double crochet in each stitch around, and you should have 16 stitches, of course, and I'll meet you back at the end of round number four. Okay, so for round number five, now you're going to half double crochet in the first seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, whoops. I missed that stitch. Five, six, and seven. And then you're going to half double crochet increase in the next two stitches. So half double crochet increase in the next two stitches. And that just means to put two half double crochets into one stitch. So you're gaining two stitches. Now you're just going to half double crochet in the last seven stitches. And I think I forgot to put my stitch marker in, which is a little bit of a whoopsie, but we will make it work. So I am coming back to where I started again, and there's the start. I just need to do one more half double crochet. Okay. So now what you're going to do for row no around <laughs> number six, you're going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet. So chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that in each stitch around. And I'm just going to do this real quick on camera um, because it's not really worth me pausing the camera and then trying to do this again and starting it up again. So. You're just going to chain one, skip one in each stitch across. There you go. Chain one, skip one, half double, or single crochet, not half double crochet. Okay, so I just came back to the first chain one, um, and you can see there's my finger right in it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to cut your yarn, and you have completed your muzzle part of the head. And now what you're going to do is you're going to tie off, obviously. And you have completed your muzzle. This is what it should look like. Now, for um, row num or for the head, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your 10 millimeter crochet hook and your white faux fur yarn, unless you're using some other color, obviously. But you're going to probably want to grab your white yarn, insert your hook into the last chain space created. It should be kind of right here where there's like a ridge. So that's the last chain space we made. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your yarn and I just yarn over pull through to tie it on or yeah start crocheting with this and then you're going to chain one. So when you single crochet in the next three stitches you're only working into the chain spaces. So like right there is a chain space. So I did three 
single crochets into the chain spaces. And now you're going to single crochet increase in the next three chain spaces. So single crochet increase in the next three chain spaces. And I am almost done with that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the last three chain spaces. So one, two, and a three. Okay, so I just single crocheted in the last three stitches of round number one. And now what you're going to do to begin round number two is you're just going to insert your hook into the first single crochet and you're going to make a, an, another single crochet on top of it. And now you're going to start working in the round. So you're really going to want to have your stitch marker on hand. Um, so now I'm just going to, for round number two, you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. And you should have a total of 12 stitches. So I'll meet you back once you're done with that. Okie dokie. So I just finished round number two. And now you're going to, for round number three, you're going to single crochet in the first three stitches. And then you're going to single crochet into the next, uh, single crochet increase into the next six stitches. And then you're going to single crochet into the last three stitches. So single crochet in the first three stitches, single crochet increase in the next six stitches, and then single crochet in the last three stitches and you should have a total of 18 stitches for round number three and so I'll meet you back once you're done with round number three. Okie dokie, so I just finished round number three and now for rounds number four through eight, you're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. So just single crochet in each stitch around for the next, um, for rows four through eight and I'll meet you back once you're done with round number eight. Okie dokie, so I just finished round number eight and now what you're gonna do is for, um, for round number nine, you're going to single crochet in the first five stitches, and then you're going to single crochet two together in the next eight stitches, so um, four times, and then you're going to single crochet in the last five stitches. So um, to do that, you're just going to, I'm just going to single crochet in the first five stitches to begin, four and a five, and now you're going to single crochet two together. Now to do that, you're just going to insert into the first stitch, yarn pull through. Then you're going to insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and you should have three loops on your hook now. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And you're just going to do that a uh, total of four times. So I've done it twice now, three and four times. So you went over, you did it over eight stitches and you did it four times. Now you're going to single crochet in the last five stitches and then you should have a total of 14 stitches at the end of row number nine. And now for row number 10, I just finished row number nine. For row number 10, you're going to single crochet in the first five stitches once again. And then you're going to single crochet two together in the next um, four, over the next four stitches or two times. So one, two, three, four, five stitches to begin, and then you're going to single crochet two together over the next four stitches total. So in, insert, yarn, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn, pull through, yarn, pull through all three loops in your hook. Then you're going to just do that one more time. So total of, you're going to do that twice, but you're going over four stitches. Now you're going to single crochet in the last five stitches, and you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of round number 10. And as you can see, I ended with five stitches, or I did my last five stitches, and now your head is completed. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the first stitch just to kind of make it not pointy, um, if that makes sense. <laughs> if not, don't worry. Um, and then you're going to cut your yarn. Oop, there you go. And tie off and then you have completed your head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera real quick. Okay, so look at where your tail is. That should be the bottom of your head. So that's the part that will face down. And then the top of your head should be exactly the opposite of that. So, or you can also, yeah, so the top, so here's the, the tail then the top of that is right about here. So that's gonna be the top of my head, and that's where you're going to put your eyes in. So I will put my eyes on 
roughly row three, I believe, and probably one, two, three, four, five stitches apart or so. And then I will meet you back once I have um, put the eyes in um, and hot glued them and um, I'll weave in the tails and then I'll stuff the head just with polyfill stuffing and then I'll meet you back once you're ready to begin the body part of this unicorn. Okie dokie. So I just finished the head. As you can see, I hot glued the eyes. I actually ended up using 12 millimeter safety eyes. I um, tried putting the 14 millimeter safety eyes in. Um, I've done 14 millimeter safety eyes for the extra small size before, but I just didn't like how it looked. So I did 12 millimeter safety eyes. Then I, re um, I, uh, tied in all the tails and I stuffed the head as you can see now one thing I want to note is that the two half double crochet increases that we did on the second to last row the goal is to make those the goal is to make those roughly um, roughly in the center of the eyes now as you can see I didn't do perfect but I did a decent um, so if your my thing ended up my stitch marker ended up being like over here which is not obviously in the center of the back of the head. Um, it's on the side. So if your stitch marker is ends up saying that it's not in the right spot, that's fine. Uh, just go off of the increases with the uh, muzzle and you'll be good. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your yarn that you've been working with, your faux fur yarn, and you're going to begin by making a chain of two. So you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain two. And now what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the corner of the head. So let me grab my instructions. Okay, so what you're going to do, you have your chain two. And now what you're going to do is you're going to look at your head and right where the eyes are, in the middle of the eyes, so right so right there, I'm going to grab the stitch there, and then I'm going to grab this, the bottom stitch, and then I'm going to pinch it together like that. And that's what you're going to do, and you're going to single crochet across the back of the head. So, I'm just showing you again. So here's the middle of the eyes, and you want to pinch the middle, so you want it to be like this. So then this will be the bottom of the head, and this will be the top of the head like that. Okay, so now I'm flipping it to the back side like this. You can still see we're working on the top of the head. And now what you're going to do is you're going to find the two corners. So I was just pinching here and I can feel here are the two corner stitches. So I'm going to insert my hook into the bottom stitch and then the top stitch. So as you work across the back of the head, you're going to go into the bottom and top stitches of the head. So you're just going to now go ahead and single crochet across and you should have seven single crochets across the back of the head. I'm going to grab a little more stuffing right here because it feels just a little understuffed right there before I close off the head entirely. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to continue single crocheting across and you should of course, as I just mentioned, have seven stitches at the end of row number one of the body. Okay, so as you can see, I'm coming to the other side and I'm just going to do a single crochet into the last stitch. Um, so you should have one, two chains and then you should have seven single crochets across the back of the head. So one, two, three, four, five, six, um, I'm going to do one more, and seven. And then you should chain two on the other side. And then for row number two now, you're going to chain one more, turn your work, and you're going to begin now row number two. So I just wanted to do a quick recap. So we pinched the head, and this is how it should look across the back of the head. And now what you're going to do is you're going to Insert your hook into the second chain from hook. Insert your hook into the second chain. 
and then you're going to yarn or pull through, yarn pull through two. So you're going to make a single crochet and you're getting a single crochet increase into the second chain from hook. So make two single crochets into the second single crochet from your hook. And now you're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches across. And then you're going to single crochet increase in the last um, chain or stitch, whatever you want to call it. It's the last chain if you're in technical terms. So let me just do this off camera real quick and then I'll meet you back once I'm to the other side and I'll show myself single crochet increasing on the other side. Okay, I just came to the last stitch and now I'm going to make a single crochet increase. It's actually a chain, excuse me. So we, we increased in the first stitch or chain and then we're not gonna increase in the last chain and you should have 13 stitches now that you're done with row number two. Now for row number three, four, and five, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So you're gonna chain one, turn. You're gonna single crochet increase in the first stitch, single crochet across, and then you're gonna single crochet increase in the last stitch. And you're just gonna do that um, for rows uh, three, four, and five. And at the end of row five, you should have 19 stitches. So you're going to increase, you should have two more stitches every um, row that you do. So I'm going to complete um, row number five and then I'll meet you back and show you the progress we've made. Okay, I just finished row number five and I now have 19 stitches across. And now we want to, I want to note that you want to leave your stitch markers um, on the edges of, on both sides of row number five. So leave your stitch markers here. That's why I said you need two stitch markers at the beginning, because you wanna leave your stitch markers right here on row number five, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to come back and do the legs, um, or the front arms here um, when we're done. So, so leave these stitch markers at the um, last and first stitch of row number five. Now for rows number six through 21, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and you're gonna single crochet in each stitch across. So you're just gonna continue that for rows six through 21. And I'm gonna meet you back once you have finished row number 21, and I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie, so I just finished um, row number, um, let's see, I've just finished row number 21, and now what I'm going to show you how to do next is I'm going to show you how to um, sew on or how to make the legs on your body. So what you're going to do to begin is you're going to just chain one and turn your work like I've already done. And then you're going to single crochet in the first four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're just going to chain one and turn your work. And you're just going to do that for rows well, I just did row 22, and now I'm going to do that till row 26. So, total of five rows. So, um, I'm going to do that. Just chain one, turn, single chain the first in all four stitches, chain one, turn again. Do that in all four stitches. And you're just going to do that in each um, for the next five rows total and then I'll meet you back once you have completed row number 26 or your fifth row for the leg and then I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie. So I just finished my fifth row and then I just tied off um, and now what you're going to do is you're going to come over so here's your one leg and now you're going to come over to this side and you're just going to insert your hook and then you're going to grab your yarn strand you're going to yarn pull it through then you're going to chain one, and you're just going to do the exact same thing that you did on this side. So, what um, five rows at four, four single crochets across. So, just single crochet four across and do that. And then chain one and turn, and then single crochet four. And you're just going to do that for a total of uh, for the next five rows. And then I'll meet you back once you're done with leg number two. Okie dokie. So, I just finished um, leg number two, and I just did five rows. and I um, tied off and now what you're going to do is you're come, going to come back up to where your head is and you're just going to insert your hook where your stitch marker is. So insert your hook where your stitch marker is right there. And then you're going to grab your yarn, pull through 
chain one and now you're going to single crochet four in the next four stitches once again and then you're going to do that for five rows so i'm just going to um meet you back once you have completed your front leg number one and then i'll show you what to do for the next leg okay okay i just wanted to mention that i basically just ran out of ball number one and so I'm just going to set this aside because this is not enough to do a leg. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your second ball of yarn and just you're going to do, you're going to insert your hook where your stitch marker is right here. And then you're going to chain or not chain one or pull through chain one. Then you're just going to single crochet four across for five rows. And I'm going to meet you back once you have finished leg number four, and then I'll show you um, what's next. Okay, okay, so I just finished um, the fourth leg, or arm, whatever you want to call it. So here's one, two, and then three, four in the back. And now what you're going to do is you're going to weave in all of your tails, and then I will meet you back and show you what you do for the edging, and then the hoof and ears. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so I just finished um, weaving in all my tails, as you can see. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to, we're gonna do the edging. And so to do that, all you're gonna do is you're going to insert your hook into the corner or into this kind of neck area. And then you're gonna grab your yarn and you're just going to yarn over and pull through and chain one. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way around the whole body. So starting at the neck, then what you're gonna do is in each, in the corner of each um, leg, you're going to single crochet increase. So increase, increase in the corner of each leg. So otherwise you're just getting single crochet around each stitch around. And then once you get to the corner of the leg, which I just hit, now you're just going to single crochet increase just to make it kind of a nice corner and not like get really weird and rounded so i'm just going to increase now again in the corner and then i'm just going to continue around so just going around then up to the leg increasing in the corners and then going around and then just going back to the other side of the neck and i'll meet you back once you have finished the um neck side then i'll show you how to make the hoofs next Okay, so I just finished going around the edging, and you can see here is the head, and I just slip stitched into the corner of the head neck area, and now I'm just going to um, cut my yarn, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through, and there you have it. There is your little unicorn. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your... Um, coordinating color of faux fur yarn. So I'm using today um, a Fable Fur, uh, we crochet Fable Fur in the color Paloma, which is just their pink color. But you could really use any faux fur or coordinating yarn that you want. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the top. So um, you're going to insert your hook into the corner of each leg and you're gonna continue as follows. So, I'm just going to insert my hook into this inner corner of the leg. So here's the head um, right here. I'm going to insert my hook here. And then I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm just going to yarn over and pull through. I'm going to chain two. And then you're going to double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, let me set my side my cream yarn and pull out some more of my pink yarn. There we go. Good. So two, three, and four. And you might have to, sometimes I think that looks really good. Now what you're going to do for row number two is you're going to chain two and turn your work. And to begin, you're going to double crochet two together in the first two stitches. So double crochet two together. To do that, you just yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two loops on your hook. And then you're just, so that's like basically a half, uh, you have quite finished the double crochet. You normally would yarn over and pull through all two loops. Now you're just going to yarn over and insert into the next stitch, yarn pull through, yarn pull through two loops. 
Now you should have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn and pull through all three loops in your hook. And now you're just getting single crochet, or sorry, double crochet in the last two stitches. And you're going to, um, you're going to cut your yarn. And so that is what your paw, little paw, or not paw, sorry, your little um, hoof should look like right there so there you are there's your little hoof now what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing for the next three um legs or hooves so i'm just going to insert into the corner stitch right here now i'm going to grab my yarn yarn over pull through chain two then i'm going to whoop, there you go then i'm going to uh double crochet in the first in the next four stitches and my ball of yarn is getting stuck um, and so double crochet in the next four stitches and then you're just getting um, chain two turn your work double crochet two together in the first stitch or first two stitches over the next first two stitches and then you're just going to double crochet in the last two stitches and now I'm going to just cut my yarn once I'm done. There we go. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm just going to let you now continue to do that for the last um, uh, last couple of legs. And then once you are done with that, I'll meet you back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished all my hooves. I'm really having trouble saying hooves today. So if I'm sorry if I'm totally butchering it. Anyway, okay. So I just finished that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to begin making the ears for this unicorn. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your six millimeter crochet hook and you're going to grab your cream faux fur yarn. Now, to begin, you're going to chain two. So make a slip knot and insert your hook and then chain two. And then you're going to um, half double crochet in the second chain from hook. Just one half double crochet in the second chain from hook, which is the only chain you can really work into. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to um, chain one and turn your work, and you're gonna half double crochet three into that one stitch. So I'm gonna find that one stitch. There we go, I'm having a little trouble getting into it. There we go. I still crocheted that way too tight. Okay, so one, two and a three and now what you're going to do for row number rows number three through five you're just going to chain one turn half double crochet in each stitch across so i'm going to do that for rows three through five and then i'll meet you back once you're done with row number five and i'll show you what to do for row number six Okay, so I just finished row number five, and now for row number six, you're going to chain one, turn, and you're going to half double crochet three together in the all three stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through into the first stitch. Then I just normally insert, yarn over, pull through, and then insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you do it, but that's how I do it. Now you're just going to yarn over and you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. You're just going to yarn and pull through all five loops on your hook. Now I'm going to snip my yarn. You're going to want to leave yourself um, a long tail to sew this um, onto the unicorn head. So I'm just going to yarn over and pull through now. And there is ear number one. Now I'm going to have you um, back up this video a little bit and make the ear again. And then what you're going to do for the inner ears is you're going to grab your little bit of pink yarn or I like to do the yarn color that matches the um, hoof. So whatever color you're using for your hoof, then you can use for your inner ears. But what you're going to do is you're going to grab a number four worsted weight pink or whatever color for your inner ears. And then you're going to grab a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and you're just going to do exactly what you did for this outer ear. So make one more outer ear and then grab your 4.5 millimeter hook and your four, number four worsted weight yarn and do the exact same thing for the outer ears and then I'll meet you back once you have completed that.
Okay, so this is what my two ears look like, and I did exactly the same thing for the inner ears as the outer ears. I just used a different hook and different yarn. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna weave in your top tail, your short tail, and um, I'm just gonna do this real quick with you guys on camera. Um, there you go, like so. It's sometimes hard to get them perfect, but just as good as possible is the best I can do. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing to weave in that tail, and then you're just going to whip stitch this onto the ear, like this it is, like it is already. And then, let me show you. So once you've got this whip stitched onto the ear, I'm just going to... So I normally feel for one stitch and then I go th pull through and then I go up and through another stitch. It's a bit of a challenge to show this on camera because, I don't know, it just sometimes showing things on camera is harder than doing it in person. <laughs> if you're a fellow YouTuber, you know my struggle. Um, so just... Um, finish going around like this and then once you're done it around then at the end you're going to take this faux fur one that's you left long and you're just going to make it kind of a base like so you're going to pinch it so that the let me just finish this real quick I'll meet you back when I'm done okay so I'm just going to show you for this one and then you, you guys can repeat it for this one so I just um I just whip stitched it on and now I'm going to take this pink strand and this white strand and I'm going to make a knot. So this is how I like to do it. I'm sure you can do it a different way, but this is my preferred way. I make probably two or three knots. And then, let me show you what I do next. So once you've made a couple of knots, I'm going to make one more. So I've done four knots. And this is kind of for making a thick and sturdy base. So now I'm going to cut my pink yarn. You're going to leave a decently long tail, but like just pretty short. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your long tail of faux fur that you're going to use to sew onto your head, put it onto your darning needle, and you're just going to go so right here and to the other side. And the goal is to kind of pinch it a little bit so that the ear is kind of a, has a sturdy, sturdy stock like base. And so that's why I did all those knots, if you're wondering, because it gives me like a little bit of a base to start off. So I don't have to do like quite as many backs and forth, backs and forths. Ah, oh, my grammar today is bad. Okay, so this is what it should look like you kind of pinch it at the bottom, so that's kind of a pointy ear like that. Does that make sense? So like that, so it's kind of pinched at the bottom. And you kind of want to make it decently sturdy at the base so that your, your ear will stand up really nice and tall when you go to put it on the head. Now what you can do is you can just take this and um, grab your unicorn and put it on to the head where um, wherever you want. I'm just gonna pretend like this one's done. I like to do, um, let's see, probably kind of out from the eyes a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but I'm just gonna wait till I've done the horn and so I'll put these to the side and then when we get the horn done, I'll show you what how to do that. Um, so now what you're gonna do is to make the horn, I have done, um, a YouTube video um, some weeks back on how to make um, it was a elephant tusk but it's the exact same if you use the exact same method you can make a horn so I'm gonna link it right now in the cards and in the description down below and then once you have made your horn come back to this video and then I'll show you how to make the mane and the tail okie dokie so as you can see I just finished my horn and 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to put it, place it on top of your head. And I like to do it, let's see, one, two, three, four, about the fourth row up. Let's see if you guys can see this. So something like that. Now I am going to find it about the center of the eyes. And now if you want to, sometimes I take some like, um, uh, big plastic pins and push them on but you can you don't have to one thing I forgot to mention is that one thing you can do is so I stuffed the horn like I would normally and then I like to just take this long piece of strand a long strand of yarn and then this one that came from the magic circle and I like to just tie a knot but you won't even have to I just that's kind of how I like to do it. Oh, my neck is stiff today. Um, I'm going to finish. There we go. Now I'm going to grab some scissors and cut my yarn. Okay, now I'm going to have just the long tail left. And now I'm just going to put this on my darning needle and place it once again. Whoop. There you go and place it once again between the eyes. So I'm just gonna take this and bring it over to the eyes roughly. One, two, three, three and four, We're about there or so. And so now I'm just going to whip stitch this on. So all you do to do that is I like to just go into some, a little bit of the fur and then I like to go into the stitches around the horn. And I'm just gonna do that. So grab a little bit of fur and then grab a little bit of the horn as just as I continue to go around. You don't wanna grab too much of the fur, otherwise you will be able to see it like that. So first pull it tight and then don't um, go crazy in amounts of that. I'm going to pull it tight again, and now I'm just going to continue um, going around. So just inserting my needle and grabbing the little bit of the horn as I whip stitch this on. And then I'm going to meet you back now once I have finished putting on this horn. And then I'll show you how to make the mane and tail and how to sew the ears onto the head. Okay, okay, so as you can see... I just completed putting on this unicorn or this horn onto the unicorn. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do next is I'm going to show you how to put these ears on. So we pinched the base of the ear, just a little recap. We pinched the base of the ear. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to place them. I like to place them just about directly back from the eye. There you go. Just about directly back from the eye and a little behind the horn. I don't know if you guys can see that but a little bit behind the horn, and then all you do is you just um, go back and forth, grabbing a little bit of the base and a little bit of the head. Now this is extraordinarily hard to show on camera, so forgive me if you can't really see this at all. <laughs> okay. Like that, I would say. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of the bottom and Go up and through. And because you made such a thick base, it will be a little bit hard to pull the yarn through. But that's good because it's going to be extra secure for when your little baby uses it. And now you're just going to do the exact same thing for this side. And as you can see, her unicorn is actually starting to come together. And it looks oh so cute. Okay, so... Just finish the other side and finish this ear and then we'll meet you back and I'll show you how to do the main tail and nostril. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it is looking like. I think it's super cute. Now we're going to set this aside and you're going to grab to make your mane first. We're going to grab that Wool Ease Thick and Quick. Um, I use the color, I'm going to use the color Carousel. Um, and you can see it's like these really pretty different colors. With, all with like a kind of a gray. So anyway, grab your yarn. And what you're going to do is you're going to, for, you're going to grab your six millimeter crochet hook. 
Um, and then you're just going to begin by making a chain of, um, let's see, you're going to make a slip knot. So make a slip knot like we have done before already. And then you're going to chain 10. Actually, I'm going to leave myself a little bit longer of a tail just in case I use it to sew on. Okay, so make a slip knot and chain uh, 7. Excuse me. Did I say 10? So make a slip knot and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now you're going to leave a long tail to sew onto head, and then you're just going to cut your yarn. So we chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I'm just going to cut my yarn. And this will be the main, don't worry. Right now it does not look like anything, but it will look like something very soon. So you're just going to do that one more time. So I'm just going to set this up up here and I'm going to just do this on camera real quick because it's such a quick little thing. So you're just going to make a slip knot once again. And then you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're going to cut your yarn, leaving yourself a nice long tail. And then you're going to tie off once again. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut seven 12 inch lengths of yarn. So, to begin, I'm going to set these up, up above or to the side. And now I'm going to cut seven 12 inch lengths. Okay, so this is actually, I just grabbed a ruler real quick because I wanted to make. Sure, I was not. Um, so this is actually 12 inches. So now I'm just going to cut a total of seven more of them. Now, if you want them to have different colors, sometimes I had to, like, it stays pink for a while. So if you want, like, a blue, a little bit of blue in yours, you might have to pull some of it out and then be able to grab get some blue. But you're going to end up cutting 14 of these um, 12 inch pieces of yarn and then once you're done cutting 14 12 piece 12 inch pieces of yarn I'll meet you back and I'll show you what to do next okay so you can't quite see all of them but here's the kind of pinkish right here and here's the kind of purpley then the bright pink then here's the blue and then the teal now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your one of your two chains and you're going to insert your hook so you're going to insert your hook, then you're going to take one of your strands and you're going to kind of lay it or fold it in half like this. Then you're going to lay it over your hook and then you're just going to take that and pull through. And then you're going to yarn over, grabbing both of these two strands, yarn over and pull through. And then you're just going to pull up and there you have it. You have completed one of the hair uh, main parts of the hair, whatever you want to call it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab different colors. So I'm going to grab my teal kind of color and I'm just going to do the exact same thing into the next chain. So I inserted my hook into the next chain. Now I'm going to just pull through and yarn over, whoop, yarn over and pull through all two loops. And what you're going to do is you're just going to continue that for both this chain and for this next one. And then I'm going to meet you back once you're done. Okie dokie. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. So this is the long tail and then this is that little short tail. And then this is um, the chain that we just attach all these um, pieces of yarn to. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your second one and your first one. So we made two of them as you should have made. And now you're going to find your two long tails. So here's my two long tails. I like to, when I find my two long tails, just flip them or so. And what all you're going to do, I'm just going to leave it how this is. I'm going to grab my long piece of yarn, put it onto my journey needle. There you go. And now all you're going to do is you're just going to crochet or whip stitch these two together basically. So what I like to do, I'll just show you for a second and then I'll let you finish this on your own. 
So you're just going to insert into the first chain, insert into the first chain of the other set, and then I just go back and forth like so. Now you can do this however you like, but this is just how I do it. Um, and I'm just going to go back and forth. Now I'm almost to the end. There we go. And I'm just going to go into the last one, last chain into both of them. And there you have it. So you've just joined those two together. Now it's all one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your um, unicorn and you're going to look kind of at the back right here. So here's its eyes right here. What I like to do is you're going to grab your yarn. Whoop. There we go. Find. Okay. So you're going to take now your needle again, and what you do is you lay your chain up against the back of the head, so vertically right from the um, unicorn horn to down to its neck, and then all you do is you just whip stitch going into the fur and going into the kind of, I just go into those chains, and then I'll do that real quick, and then I'll meet you back once I'm done. Okay, so once you have um, sewn that on, um, basically in the center of the down, down going down back, um, once you have done that, then you can just, I like to just knot it, and then I just like to cut it the length of my hair. So you can see there's the two, and that's what I'm just going to do. Okay, so for the next part, what you're going to do is you're going to do your nostrils. Now, you're going to want to grab your pink yarn for that. So... I mean, I grabbed my pink yarn that I use for my inner ears, and now I'm just going to cut myself a nice long piece of yarn. There we go. And I'm going to take this and put this on my darning needle. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the nostril on the second row up from the center. So here's the center magic circle. And then you're going to go two rows up. And you're going to go um, three stitches apart. So I'm going to go from, so there's my eyes. You want to make it in the center, obviously. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. Thinking like right about there. So I'm just going to insert into the center. Or actually, I'm going to go up from the bottom. That's just so we can go back through it in the end. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, just on here, and then I'm just going to go up one row. So like, and then I'm just going to go up to here, and just do a little whip stitch in, or whatever you want to call this, embroidery. Something like that. Now I am just going to do that a couple more times. And I'm just going to meet you back once you're done with this and I'll show you what to do next. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I finished this. I decided to do it at the base of the second row and then going up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my stuff aside. And I'm going to show you how to do the tail real quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut three 12 inch lengths of yarn once again. And I found three different colors that I liked. And now what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook. Um, you can use any hook you want. I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter hook if I can find it. Here we go. I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter hook and just insert into the middle. And you can kind of play with this and feel where the middle is. Or you can count the stitches. I just don't have that time currently. And then you're just going to grab these three strands of yarn. And fold them in their center. Like so. And then you're just going to take this and pull through. And then you're just going to, um, you're going to, uh, I need, I'm just going to pull up on this, like this, and then I'm going to take hold with my finger and then pull these three, loop, three through. Or, yeah, these 
six tails, three strands through. Okay, so just pull like that, and now you're just getting tightened as much as you possibly can. I just like to take then, once I've done that, I just take each individual one and tighten just a little bit more just so it's nice and secure and it comes kind of from a nice center area. And you can see that is what your tail will look like. Now, one of my recommendations is to take this. If you like it how it is, that's perfectly fine. But what I like to do is I like to untwist the yarn and make it more of a fluffy tail like you can see that I did here. Um, but that is totally optional. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Um, so I'm just going to like de open that up and you can see there it goes. It's starting to floof again or already. So I just like to take the kind of plies, I think it's called, apart and just make it a little bit more um, fun. And there you go. That is how you make this adorable unicorn. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And so yeah. Thank you so much for making this super fun crochet unicorn along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm making a new video on Friday and I'd love to see you there. And don't forget to tag me in a post. If you, if you do um, post it to Instagram or Facebook, don't forget to tag me as I love to see your guys' makes. And so thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!